on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, let's get to the beginning of the, you know, entrance exam. Which is Izuku, Tio, and Zambina walking out to the front gates of UA. Izuku, though, yes, he was sure of himself before the whole All Might situation, he was still a little bit worried on how much he would fare compared to other people who do have quirks as well as other monster esque people like Tio and Zombina. <laughs> Him just looking at them by his side is... This is it. Uh, this... Uh, this doesn't even feel real. Do you need paint shoes to make sure it's... No. No, no, please, please don't. I, I, I would like my skin attached, if you don't mind. Well, that was rude. I didn't do anything wrong yet. You said yeah. That means you were planning or worried that you would. <sighs> anyway, come on, let's go take this test. Actually, what? We uh, we won't be taking the interest exam. What? So we're sorry, but. We've had our sights set on something else. But I thought we were going to do this together. I was really looking forward to it, too. Sorry, Izu, but that's not gonna... Being a hero is your dream, not ours. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. But, <sighs> there is some good news. Really? What is this? I'll tell you once the test is over. Really? really? You promise? Yeah. Yeah. That, as soon as this test is over and we're home. Uh, okay. Weird you said like that, but okay. Izuku, he walks in alone. Bago seeing him, but just ignoring him, just trying his best. I'm not gonna let this nurse psych me out. Despite he actually does have trauma for what he did to Zombina, him seeing her scares the daylight out of him. Him seeing Tio is like, oh my god, she got bigger. Tio about to slap him. Izuku said, nope, we don't need him in the hospital. But it was rude. He's sorry, aren't you? Yes, yes, very much so. I did not mean any disrespect. It's just, you got a lot bigger. <laughs> Tio decided to punch him instead of slapping. Seeing him flying through a wall. He's do scolding her, but Bob goes like, I'm fine, I can still participate. I'm not losing to you, damn it. As soon as the test begins, Izuku, him feeling like, oh, when it comes to villains, they won't wait for, for us to get ready. So at the very least, him just bursting through the doors. He's on these 20% one for all and loving every second of the speed, the strength. Hell, the fact that he's very efficient at using it, it's almost like he's always had it. <laughs> Which surprises a lot of people. All Might is especially surprised at how proficient he is at using it. Despite the fact that he only he's only been using twenty percent so far. That's still quite the accomplishment for someone so late in the game. 
But now, as Ezekiel is just racking up more points, making other students feel inferior, Tanya Ida is like, what the hell? He's faster than me? This is when the zero point shows up. And yes, Oraka does end up getting trapped under the rubble. As soon as he sees her like that, he outstretches his hand. And this is when Black Whip actually, you know, awakens. Surprising, not only the participants, not only Oraka, not only just the students, but All Might as well. They're wondering, wait, I thought he only had one quirk. What's that? Ezeku just saves Oraka. And with that, the test is over. Ezeku got first place, and All Might has some questions like, what the hell? Is it? I I don't know, it just felt right. <sighs> Is it okay? Interesting. This is pretty much when the girls show up is Okay. We're done we're a little test. But wait how did you get here so fast? What do you mean? I uh, mean, you guys went to another high school, right? Unless you wait for me or... Oh, no. We didn't say we didn't want to go to UA. We just didn't want to be in the hero course. What? As they explain, there's actually a separate course for the protection of monsters as well as their culture and everything and they end up joining this though Dio is pretty much an airhead sometimes and she doesn't like being uh you know her weight her height anything involving how tall or huge she can be Izuku realizing Okay, yeah, I thought you meant something else. I am so sorry for assuming. Okay, so how was your uh, exam? Um, I am looking at all my. Might as well tell them I'm gonna learn sooner or later. Learn what? I unlocked another quirk. What? I lost another quirk. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, yeah. You what? Hey, hey, hey. It's not something I expected at all. It's just... It just happened. I mean, I was seeing this girl and she... Hold up. Hold, hold, hold on. You saved a girl? Yeah. I mean, she was trapped on a rubble, the zero pointer was coming towards her. She would have gotten crushed if I didn't step in. I'm sure the heroes would have stepped in if they needed to. Right, All Might? All Might is, yes, he's just staying silent. He he knows what's happening. He ain't going to, he ain't no dummy. But even though, yes, not answering them is pretty much just as foolish. Hmm, isn't it? But, this is very much when he's like, oh yeah, uh, what's uh, the news you wanted to tell me after the exam? Wait until we're home. Like I said, wait till we're home. Still, the way she said that sounds weird, ominous. Oh well. As soon as they get there, Izuku notices... An extra pair of shoes already there as he just runs in wanting to see if everything's all right but then who are you hmm. you can call me miss smith and with that the paperwork is finished thanks inko i know she could be a handful Woo! oh you mean wait you must be for here for tio right why did she do something wrong like no if anything, your p 
parents had decided to take on another resident. In fact, we're going to have to move you and your family out of this apartment. We're going to have to get you actually a little residence for Tio and as well as Sambina. As Izuku, his face is shock. Surprise. Wait, what? Him looking at Zambina is like, surprise. Yes, this, this is what I want. This is the secret. This is the... This. You don't look happy. You, you, you don't want to live with me? No, 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 no. That's not... Oh, so you say you don't? No, that's not what I meant. I mean... Uh. Okay, what I mean is... That's great! I just didn't expect that so soon. I mean, I, I was somewhat... Um, what? I mean, uh, we... Uh... Um... Uh, what's wrong? Come on, use your big boy words. I mean, I have thought about how it would be with you staying here. I just didn't really want to say anything. So I'm being just blushing. I was like, wait, you actually thought about us living together? Even the naughty bits? Oh, wait, what? Inko fuming, Azashi giving his thumbs up of approval. Theo being like, oh, it's okay, so. Oh, that's great. I have a monster roommate. That's. Wait, what does she mean by naughty bits? <sighs> Seriously, learn how to read the room. Um. Okay, I'll try, but. Uh, Dio pretty much being oblivious to what she meant to an extent. And then as soon as it hits her, it's like. No. You're not doing that. What? You, you are not going to have. There's not your times with Izuku. That is not fair. <gasps> Wait, what? Seriously, why do you care? Seriously, why do you think I keep sneaking into his bed? Pretending to be half asleep. <sniffs> oh. As everyone heard that, Mrs. Smith, All Might, and so on, Izuku was like, what? You're pretending to be half asleep when you're going to bed? You snuggled up to me on purpose? Um, I, uh... What are you talking... I'm sorry, but what were we talking about? No, 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 no. No, no, back... Backpedal. Hold on a second. So... Wait a minute. Whenever I was, you were, you've been awake. Hmm? Whenever I try to break free from your grip every uh, morning, you were awake the whole time. Uh, what? No. Seriously. Uh, no, I don't. What, what are you talking about breaking from my grip? I'm, I mean, uh, I never, it never bothered me that you were pretty much uh, tickling me about to awake. <laughs> what? You knew? Uh, uh, I know how this, how it sounds. I know how this looks. But, uh, you see, I, it's not like I, uh, ask you. To square the way you do, and it doesn't. Uh, it's not like I uh, do anything, especially when you have more. What from seeing me like that, hugged up to you? What? So you're saying you're legit saying that all you sneak into my room, fully conscious. You're awake by the time I wake up. 
and just hold on tighter just so I can keep moving and squirt. Oh, that's some. Oh my goodness. Yo. You have a naughty personality. I, I, I must say, I am actually very, um, hmm. I'm impressed, actually. <laughs> I, I, I did not expect this from you. <laughs> no, that's not fair. Heck, at least I'm not like you. At least I don't undo my stitches in certain places just so Yuzuku is forced to touch them. What? Is she, is she is she telling the truth? <laughs> I, I, uh, she is. So every time your boob actually falls off, you're undoing the stitches. You just want to see me embarrassed? I mean, no, 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 no. Wait. What were those times you left one of your eyes in the bath? Huh? Wait. D d is that why you look so flushed or whatnot whenever I return it? Can you see from that eye when it's not attached? Uh, uh, How much did you see of me, you deviant? No, 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 it's not like that. Inko, she's looking at the contract or what, not paper she signed. She's like, no, 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 I am not allowing this. Her just trying to dive towards them, trying to prevent any further disturbing, you know, uncouth behavior. Dub will fall over her son, but Mrs. Smith's a like, yoink, nope. Sorry, but the uh, you resigned, so I am outy. Her leaving. Inko going to kill Zombina and severely reprimand Tio. Izuku he feels violated. Zashi is comforting him along with All Might, saying it's okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> I feel so dirty. I feel so used. It's fine. It, I mean, it was not fine what they've done, but just looking at them, shame on you. Them legit feeling bad. It's just about it. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Why'd you tell on me? Do you? Uh, oh. Uh, well, you told on me. No, no, I didn't. You, you, you just, you know, told on yourself. You snitched on yourself. You tattled on yourself. Whatever other word there is. You confessed your sins on your own in front of everybody. Me? I had nothing to do with that. And wait, why did you... If you knew why I was doing my undo, did my stitches, why didn't you stop me or tell Izuku before? Mm. Explain yourself. I thought I could possibly use this blackmail or, you know, some other way to use it to my advantage. Like if you undid your stitches and I accidentally kicked it. From here to ten buck two. You sly conniving. Hey, there's no need for name calling. You, you've been manipulating Izuku. Uh, pot, meat, kettle, or in this case, or other cases, pot, meat, bong. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. No, it does not. You're just... If you won't say that, you should have just... Cause it... 
whatever. Let's let's just try to reconcile with Izuku. Them trying to go towards his room where he's still being comforted, but Inko is just a watch dog. Staring at them with the most intense anger as well as disappointment. Like, I thought you, you were alright, but no. You decided you wanted to take advantage of my boy. What else have you done? Nothing. If anything, that's all we've done. Ahem, <clears throat> Zamina. When you removed stitches, it was just from your boobs, right? Yes. Nothing else? Of course not. I mean, what else could I... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. No, I did. I did not. I would not do that. No, that, that is... T terrifyingly disgusting. Ugh, I would never... Do you once we are fully moved out, you and Zombina are going to be in rooms, separate rooms from each other, and far away from my baby boy. Uh, but that's not for No, no. In fact, we're going to make it so obvious for you. Regardless if you're half asleep or not, that you're not allowed in there while he's sleeping if you break that rule you will not be allowed there at all and as for you young lady you are going to get the strongest thread you can so the next time you think of you know undoing your stitches it will be nearly impossible without ripping holes in you Oh, damn! Chill out, Miss Midoriya. You two have been taking advantage of my son's kindness. How, how do you expect a mother, a parent, to allow that? To think that's okay? It's not. Apparently, once he starts feeling better, you go and apologize for how you've been behaving. I s Though, yes, you care for him, that is not the way to do it. Them pretty much hanging their heads down in shame, as they should. Then Izuku walks out with, you know, All Might and Hizashi. Them both. <sighs> Shall we get be start getting packed? Cause this this was a lot to take in. As Izuku under his breath says, she saw everything. Everything. Oh, this this is really affecting him, isn't it? Tio felt everything I did. Oh my God! Why? This is... I did not think to deserve this. Them feeling even more guilty the more he talks. And that's saying a lot considering he... They already feel guilty for as soon as they saw that reaction of his. Okay. But right before... The move, Izuku does uh, hear from All Might that, oh, yeah, you passed. Great. At least this this day got a little bit better. Just can't believe my friends. I thought I could trust them. <sighs> Listen. Uh, how should I put this? Men are dense. We are dense as hell at times. To the point where we don't know when a woman is actually 
hitting on us. Wh what? Yes. And I am afraid to tell you this, but I think you are not really understanding the lengths they went to just to get your attention or get you to see them in a different light. You know, more than just a possible, just a, they want to be more than friends, young Midoriya. Could he just said so? Oh, no, of course not. That would be nearly impossible. Just to tell the guy you liked that you like them. They could be like this. Well, if they get rejected, they'll be heartbroken and the friendship could be injured. Or they could just take a leap of faith. They might still get rejected, but at least they have no regrets. And they won't turn into a full-on goddamn stalker. Oh. Isiku's thinking is... Hmm. So they like me. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that they like you, Yomidoriya. Hmm. I should have seen this coming considering how Dad reacted to me having two of them as soon as he sobered up. Oh, yes. I heard about that. Yeah, he can, he can never really hold his own when it came to drinking. Yeah. Okay. The very least, I should at least give them an answer. What? I should at least tell them how I feel about them. Even though it is kind of weird right now. Like, are you sure that's a good idea? What are you going to tell them? Must be the truth. Izuku just marching towards them, them seeing a look of determination in his eyes, are worried. Like, is he gonna kick us out? Is he gonna say that he hates us? Is he gonna go after that girl he saved? But this is like, I like both of you too. Uh, what? I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I like both of you. I mean, yeah, when it came to Tio, I liked her first, but I like both of you equally, and it's not fair for me just to lead either of you on. It's it's not nice. It's not something I could ever do to someone I care about, so I like both of you, but I cannot date one of you without hurting the other, so I can't. Huh. So, uh... Hmm. Joe? Yeah. Sabina? Mm-hmm. As they stand up tall towards Izuku, him thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna get punched. Him feeling the... Wait, what? Him opening his eyes, looking, and he sees one T.O. on his right side and one zombie on his left, giving him a kiss on the cheek, saying how, like, what just happened? We've actually been talking, and it was sabotaging each other, and, you know, doesn't really work. At least it does. It seemed like it would. Plus, we know you. Yeah, you probably wouldn't. <coughs> so, wait, you you guys are okay with it? Yeah, we can share you. I mean, it's gonna be a little weird, but if we split the time, but if it's between the both of us, it should work out. Okay. If anything. Uh, we're sorry about how we took advantage of your kind nature. Right. 
but if if anything, if it's any consolation, we yes, we are totally fine with sharing you. And yeah, like we said, we know you. You probably won't be able to choose between the me or her. Despite I have seen how you look at her boobs. Ah, wait, you wait, you do? No, no, no! Oh, I no. Yeah, that that reaction proves your guiltiness. Don't put, don't try to play with me. I I'm not an idiot. Either way, yes, we're fine with sharing you. <sighs> Good. Well, I mean, great. I. It's just. Let's. Let's do this by ear, okay? I don't want to get anything too serious and we end up disliking each other and the friendship is over. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I think it just means he wants to. Try being a little slow moving in a relationship. Kind of like how we were, but a little bit more intimate. And <laughs> considering what I was doing just for you to get him to touch me, oh my goodness. Uh, uh, that's not what I meant at all. If anything, it's more like watching movies or going out to eat or something, you know, desserts. Oh, is it good? Can you go out for cake and ice cream? Oh, okay. I should have known that was coming. Yes, yes. Okay, fine, fine. Just, just. <sighs> Give me a second. I still, I, I need uh, a second to really... depressurize after this news as he just walks out he sees All Might Hazashi, Miss Smith and Inko just you are eavesdropping that's complete breach of privacy um we're invoking our right as your parents you then they have their excuse but what about yours all might um i'm your mentor and predecessor so i get uh um privileges when it comes to information on your life as then he turns to miss smith like you better have a good explanation a better one than theirs those are monster girls in which I have allowed them to stay with you and your family. Despite the whole, you know. Okay, I, I'm not going to lie. That's good. That's actually a good one. <sighs> Alright. Fine. I understand. But still, eavesdropping is wrong. I expected more from a hero. You're right, I'm sorry. But I was just so curious. <sighs> Curiosity killed it, the cat. Did it, not it. Yeah, you have a good point. Wait, who am I? You're the cat, and I am Curiosity. And aren't I technically stronger than you? Hey. Hey, no, no, there is a difference. Please, explain. Uh, you, you don't have access to the full power, neither do you. You don't have 75%. True, but I do have a new quirk. What? Them looking at all my days, wait, you have a new quirk? Miss Smith, like, wait, what, so you're actually being mentored by All Might? He, uh, we completely forgot you were even here. Miss Smith just 
crouching down the corner. Like, uh, no one really cares about me. I, I, I don't get why. I'm a nice person. I, I, I don't. I deserve some love too. He's actually feeling bad. Is like, oh. Of course you're loved. Really? As Izuku goes in to give her a pat on the back, he goes like, wait, no, she's a perf. Mrs. Smith tackling Izuku into a hug and kiss. But unlike the girls who gave him a peck on the cheek, she goes straight for them lips. Upon exiting a five second kiss in front of everyone, He's like, uh, I love you too. As Tio and Zombina and Inko pretty much want to jump and beat the ever loving shit out of Miss Smith. As Izuku, All Might, and Hazashi pretty much go to the other room. Izuku holding his lips and touching them. He sheds a tear. Or the loss of his first kiss. And that is how that ends. But when it comes to the whole new house situation, it's surprisingly bigger than what it, they expected. Izuku was wondering did she get did give us the wrong address? Zashi's like, no, this is, it's ours, but how many damn rooms are in this bitch? Uh, hmm. Wait, that, that, that's actually a good question. Wait a minute, you don't think she's gonna, what? You don't think she's going to actually try to move more monsters into our home, do you? What? Just saying. This woman can be unpredictable. And... <sighs> no way. She, no, she, she she wouldn't do that. She's, she's a professional. I'm sure she has other people willing to take in... Monsters, you know, I mean, if she just started dumping a bunch of monsters onto us, how would that make her look? I mean, she has to care about her reputation and image, doesn't she? Oh, come on. She, she would never. Right? Uh... Oh, oh dear lord. How many rooms are there? You don't want to know the number. Okay. That's good to know. The amount of rooms is large enough to the point where I don't want to know. That that that's just the bar. He's just looking his As in both Inko and Hazashi's phones start ringing. Hazashi has another job interview. Overseas. Uh, I, I'm not going to take this job offer. As it rings again. This time it's another job. But uh, he has to come in right now. Inko, she has to go off to work overseas in Europe oh uh how long is that gonna take um mom don't 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 start that um stuff please my heart can't take it two years someone else I'm sorry but I can't 
I, I, I have to help them. So what you're saying is... Wait, no, Dad's still here. As then he's... I got the job. Great! It's overseas in America. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs>